What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googlelicious. It's all the Google that we can pack inside of a show each week, and there's a lot of it. Let's get to the show, and the Nexus 5 is officially here, even though we already know pretty much what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. So let's check out CNET's first look of Google's flagship phone. Powerful, stylish, and yes, once again, very affordable, Google's flagship phone of the season is finally here. Hello everybody, I'm Lynn Law from CNET, and today we're going to check out the unlocked Nexus 5. At 4.95 inches, the 5 has the biggest screen of all past Nexus handsets. The display features 445 pixels per inch, and like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and HTC One, it has a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. Images and videos are bright and vivid and look razor sharp. Now even though the display is bigger, the device is still comfortable to hold and pocketable. In fact, it's actually thinner and lighter than the previous Nexus 4. Inside this handset is a powerful 2.26 GHz Snapdragon 800 processor from Qualcomm. This is the same blazingly fast CPU featured in the LG G2. With this processor, the Nexus 5 is a beast of a handset, especially when you consider that both the GS4 and the HTC One are speed demons themselves and run Snapdragon 600 processors. The 5 also has a non-removable 2.3 ampere hour battery. As a Google branded device, the handset will get OS updates as they roll in. And not surprisingly, it runs the latest mobile OS, Android 4.4 KitKat. KitKat comes with a number of new features. You can move entire home screens now, and there's a deeper, more seamless integration with Google Voice Search. Okay Google, what's today's weather? Google also brings new features to the handset's cameras, which, by the way, include an 8 and 1.3 megapixel shooter. For instance, it has optical image stabilization, which cuts down motion blur that may result from an unsteady hand. And there's HDR+, which fuses together several exposures and shots to make one ideal picture. Despite having all these components, though, the Nexus 5 is still very affordable. The 16 and 32 gig models cost $349 and $399, respectively. For an unlocked phone of this caliber, that's an incredibly competitive price point. Not only would Android purists find this attractive, but just anyone looking for a solid handset as well. Thanks for that, Lynn. Now, Googs is always up to something, and smartwatch rumors have been heating up. According to the Wall Street Journal, the G-men and women have Google's own watch ready that could go into production within months. Supporting previous reports, Google Now, the voice assistant that powers Google Glass, will be at the heart, and the report adds that they're working to reduce the power consumption of the device. 2014, it's the year of wearables in tech, and we're still waiting to see a concept that makes tech worth wearing. Google Now is the foundation of this. Looks like the best idea so far. On to Google Glass, it keeps evolving, and the team posted on their Google Plus page that the hardware will get an update later this year. A new mono earbud has been added for better sound outside, and the revision will also make glass compatible with new lines of sunglasses and prescription frames. Now, explorers will get their choice of colors if they're interested in swapping to the new unit, and the exchange program looks to start up sometime in November. And it looks like glass will still take some time to figure itself out in the public space. A California woman was recently ticketed for wearing Google Glass while driving. Cecilia Abadi was ticketed and told the law states, do not drive a vehicle equipped with a video monitor if the monitor is visible to the driver and displays anything other than vehicle information, global mapping displays, external media player MP3s, or satellite radio information. This might come down to what was actually being displayed on glass at the time she was ticketed, but in other public spaces, some bars and workplaces have already banned glass, and the UK indicated they plan to make it illegal to wear while driving. Now, Google also recently had a Morning with Google Plus event where they touted 540 million active users of the service, still nothing close to Facebook's 1 billion and change, but Plus isn't nearly as annoying. Now they announced some new features, the biggest one being the integration of SMS into the Hangouts app, which is expected for Android 4.4 KitKat. Hangouts also gets location sharing and allows you to click a small icon before posting, and most importantly, really important stuff, there's support for animated GIFs as well. You'll also be able to schedule Hangouts on air and promote it with a dedicated watch page. The video experience has been improved with fixes that also enhance webcam lighting and a bunch of new photo and video features like Auto Awesome Movie that cuts a bunch of your related video clips and puts them together for you in a fun presentation. And check this out, Google Motorola is partnering with PhoneBlocks creator Dave Hackens who set the internet on fire with his modular smartphone concept that allows you to swap out 
different smartphone components by fitting them to a base motherboard as needed or desired. Really, just blow your mind, amazing idea. Now, Motorola is going to call it Project Aura. They want the phone to be open source, and they say they want to do for hardware what Android has done for software, creating a vibrant third-party developer ecosystem. Motorola will presumably build the main endoskeleton of the product, and third-party developers will be able to build and release their own modules for the phone. Now, with Motorola's backing, this is really a platform that we're going to see happen, and it's really exciting to see how this all comes together in the end. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. What do you think about Project Aura? Email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and we'll throw in a few of your comments next week. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching all the Google goodness this week, and we'll see you next time for another taste of Googleicious. Googleicious.